Hello! Ooh. Right, so I've been tasked with doing a warm-up for you guys with storytelling. Um, one of the many, many things that I find a massive struggle is diction when I speak. So I am really, really excited to try a couple of tongue twisters to warm up. Um, one of my favourite kinds of warming up and technical exercises is tongue twisters. They're great for warming up all the muscles and the sort of mouth um, to form words when telling, when speaking for a very long time. Um, and it helps um, to practice that good diction and articulation. So it, when you're singing, you have to be able to hit these notes that are very, very high. And I think the first thing that you can do is figure out the the way that your mouth moves. Um, so I know it may feel a little bit silly, but the thing I like to do is sort of move my face around and just rub all the places that I find a big struggle. So I normally start here and sort of move my face and move here. Really get all the stressful places out get all your face woken up. I sort of move my hands around for movement. <sighs> I stretch my shoulders back and forward to help me when I do do movement to help me. I move myself around and count to ten on each side. Three. Three. So twist all the way around. Three. Until it feels better, really. Um, I then probably tie this up. I just then um, I sort of keep moving, move everywhere. I push my neck, my tip, sort of move that, and then try exactly the same on both sides. Don't strain your body; let it do what it needs to do. Circle. Circle my head around, and then I can keep doing this. Um, a really, really fun thing I like to try, just to get my lips moving again, is um, hip flask, hip flask, laboratory, laboratory, e day, e day, douche. And it, it somehow really, really helps when. The sort of words that you struggle with, um, fricative words that f f really, really, really big words that I think sometimes you, you sort of brain struggles to catch sentences. Um, I like to try that. What I also try to do is um, sort of randomly sit in the middle of a room and close my eyes and just shout words. Um, just sit with the sentence um, that particularly I struggle with when I'm storytelling and then think of versions of that story so if I'm saying that a character's running somewhere I would think of different words that would mean run so sprint, um, jog, all sorts of those kind of things um, that I really struggle with so if I can't think of the word run for example on the spot I can think of three or four other words that I could the place and pull out. Um, I also, right, so let's move on to tongue twisters, I'm very sorry, tandem jump. Firstly, Betty bought a bit of butter, but the butter's bitter. If I put it in my batter, it will make my batter bitter, but a bit of better butter that would make the batter better. So if we try that together, Betty bought some butter, but the butter's bitter. If I put it in my batter, it will make my batter bitter. But a bit of better butter, that would make my batter better. So I think that's quite helpful. You can do that as many times as you need to. Um, <laughs> really, really fun one. She sells seashells on the seashore. The shells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. For if she sells seashells for the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. 
I find that one particularly difficult. I am very bad with the letter S um, and sh noises. Um, I tend to use that in the breathe out exercise, so I tend to hiss to try and help myself. So if you wanted to try that, that would be incredibly helpful. I hope that was a helpful warm up. I'm sorry it was a bit very fairy. Have a lovely day.